the people who gave us Christianity and told us about the loving Jesus beat the Christianity into us through flogging. The fact is that the people who gave us Christianity took our African little babies and gave them to their European alligators as food. When will Africans wake up? Why are Africans deliberately refusing to know the untold history of their ancestors? The people who built the missionary churches in Africa and told us about Jesus the Christ forcefully raped African little girls in front of their parents inside the slave ship around 1562. It will never be well with Captain John Hawkins. This is a man that Africans barely know. Around 1562, over 50 little African boys and girls were raped by European pedophiles inside the slave ship of Captain John Hawkins. This British slave trader landed his ship at Sierra Leone and deceived over 300 Africans into the ship, where they were brutally and sexually molested and abused. Africans have to open their eyes. Hawkins had no remorse in the enslavement of Africans to the extent of having a crest that shows a young African girl tied while she is naked. Hawkins was so proud of making so much money from the enslavement of innocent Africans and this is not something new to Queen Elizabeth I who gave those slave ships out for Africans to be forcefully loaded into the new world. The Catholic Church endorsed the enslavement of Africans. The Catholic priest in the person of Bartholomew de las Casca in the year 1517 recommended that Africans should be captured and used to replace the weak and dying Native Americans who were poisoned and killed by Christopher Columbus in collaboration with the Spanish monarchy in 1492. The same European homosexuals who taught us about the loving and caring almighty God in the Bible raped our African husbands in front of their wives as punishment for disobedience. They forced African brothers and sisters to have sex in the slave ship in order to have baby slaves. In some of the plantations in America, European sex addicts forcefully raped African women in front of their husbands and children. Many African men who tried to speak were killed before they could open their mouth to say anything. This is the people who gave us Christianity and this is the people we are following their religion of a loving and dying Christ. We should wake up because we are still sleeping.